Hey everybody, it's Lori Ballen out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. My team serves Las Vegas, Henderson, Boulder City, North Las Vegas, and I serve the entire west side of the valley right here in Summerlin. Today on uh, my KW Command channel, I want to share with you how to manage offers. And I went through this um, this morning and, and I've been looking over this for the last couple weeks trying to compare how what the concept is behind managing offers. So I think this is more important than um, the, the why of why they're there is very important. All right. So here's what we're going to do in my other video. I'll put a link for you uh, where I showed you. I, sh I already showed you how to create an offer. OK. Now to find your offers, you can actually just go down here into opportunities and you can find the offer and the phase and you can open it from within there. But I actually like to go to my contact record, whoever it is that I'm opening the record for. I don't know why this is just happens to be the way I started doing it. So that's the way I'll probably keep doing it. So I'm looking for Tinkerbell as my example here. So we already entered an offer for Tinkerbell last week as a buyer. If I go into her contact record, what I can see here is the timeline. I can see her opportunities. I can see her smart plans that she's on, if she's on any. I can see tasks. I can see notes. And I can see save searches. So I think instinctively one of the reasons why I pop into the contact record to open opportunities is kind of just to take a quick look and see if there's anything else happening in there that I might need to know. I might want to make notes. So that's kind of that's why I went about it this way. All right. Now I'm going to click on opportunities. And what we can see here is that on July 13th, we have Tinkerbell the buyer. There's an offer. We have a listing for Bell. So she is selling and buying. Okay. On July 6th, she made an offer. She was out shopping and made an offer. On May 19th, we were playing with stages when we entered Tinkerbell. Okay. And back on April 21st, we entered a listing. So we're able to see the multiple things that are happening here appointments cultivations offers the different phases okay so let's just go ahead and take a look at uh first tinkerbell the buyer let me see if i can open that in a new tab and we'll look at it that way there we go so this is what an opportunity looks like many of you are probably familiar with this if you've been doing compliance and submitting your paperwork uh documents submitting your documents through KW command to get paid. You probably recognize this. If we click on any of the pencils, we can edit information. So this pencil will edit the general information block and this one will edit the property and this one will edit description. If I click over here, I can actually look at the offers. So you've got your details. We were just looking at your buyer profile documents submitted offers, commissions, notes, and timeline. Okay. So from what I am looking at and understanding as I'm working within this, opportunities are where you can note offers that your buyer has made or offers on your listings so that you can create comparisons and also so that KW command can begin collecting the data to use for the artificial intelligence to be able to give us some insights. So these offers are not the same thing as sending your documents and, and getting signatures and submitting for compliance. These are being used for different purposes. All right. So here we have Tinkerbell the buyer and we can see here that she's wrote an offer on 213 Tibertina in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's got her offer, the cash, the finance amount, the earnest amount. Here we can note if her offer was accepted, if her offer was rejected, 
If you click on the three dots, we can add another negotiation. So let's just say uh, Mr. Seller on 213 Tibertina counteroffer Tinkerbell. We can add the negotiation there if we want to. And again, this is not the same thing as sending for signatures um, and that type of thing. It's We're noting it in here so that we can send quick comparisons, quick summaries, and so that we can have uh, a, the data stored for the insights, okay? We can edit the offer. We can add our own personal agent analysis to the offer. We can send the offer and we can remove the offer, okay? So this is managing the offers. In the other video, we entered it. Now we're managing the offers. Let's just say we, we've made an edit and we want to send the offer now. Let me click send offer, okay? This is sending to Tinkerbell. This is not sending an offer to the agent on the other side. We're going to use a formal document for that. This is sending it to Tinkerbell so she can see a quick summary of what her offer is, okay? Or um, as this is going to especially come into play when you see how the list, how it works with listings, all right? But let me show you what it looks like. One, you can add an attachment here. Let's go ahead and send the offer so I can show you what it looks like. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm going to do it from the other side, from, from the other version. It worked earlier this morning. Um, it does, I, I'm not sure what's happening here on this end. In the uh, tutorial, most recent tutorial from KW, they said you have to use MailChimp to send these offers through email if you're going to send directly through here. But you also have the option of downloading and printing as well. So I don't know if that's going to change here in the near future that we're going to be able to use KW Command. I'm hoping, KW Command email, I'm hoping that we get one email that we can use everything. I know I'm not alone in that hope. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, let's go into listing. So I was playing with this this morning. All right, so let's get, let's go back to Tinkerbell. Let me close that one. Let's go back to Tinkerbell and let's look at Tinkerbell the seller. All right, so again, this is the detail view. We can edit Tink's general information, her listing information, her seller worksheet. We have our seller profile. We have our uh, documents, and this is where, I'm not gonna get into this in this video, but this is where we are making sure that uh, Tinkerbell is on the app and connected with our guide so that she's getting guides all throughout the process, letting her know what it means to be getting offers, what it means to go into escrow, what it means during home inspections, that type of thing. Okay. So in order for that to be functioning, from my understanding, Tinkerbell would need to be on the app so that we could connect her there. Okay. Then we have our documents, like we said before, this is where you're actually sending the legal documents. This is where we're managing our offers. This is where we have commissions, notes, and timeline. So this morning I went ahead and entered two offers for Tinkerbell's listing. So Tinkerbell's selling a property. She got uh, an offer here from Tina Masters and she got a, uh, an email, an offer from Mike Rivers. Okay. So what we can do now is we can actually check these boxes or we can select all to check all the boxes and now we can compare these two offers so i'm going to click compare offers now you would have done a little analysis at the bottom of each offer for tinkerbell letting her know these are the pros of this offer and these are the pros of Mike's offer. These are the cons of Tina's offer. These are the cons of Mike's offer. And you're going to give a little notation down at the bottom that has a little analysis. So maybe Tina's asking for, for Tina's not asking for closing costs and Mike is. So Tina's offer is only 500,000, but Mike's offer is 510. But depending on how the closing costs work out, that might have some consideration. Maybe one is cash and one is financed. One came through with a higher earnest money deposit than the other one did. One is asking for the 
fridge that was not listed to stay and the other one isn't. One has offered a 10 day close and the other one's going to be 45 days. You know, those are the types of things we're noting in these offers. Now, of course, uh, we're, we're having conversations with our buyers and our sellers and presenting our offers formally, but these types of things give us a really good way to just to put a side by side comparative and let them know the summary. Right now in Vegas, uh, well, I know this is nationwide, but we're seeing multiple offers again. So it's a we have bidding wars happening again. The buyers are likely to be um, competing against several offers at the same time. The seller is going to be looking at they could receive four, five, six, seven, eight offers in the same day, even definitely over a weekend. So you can put them all side by side, and then you can call Tinkerbell and say, "Okay, I want you to open this." side-by-side -side comparison so I can kind of walk you through this, right? And then they're going to choose if they want to counter all, if they're going to uh, choose one to accept, that type of thing. And this is just going to make it easier. And then this also is providing insights to KW Command to, I mean, uh, data to KW Command so their AI can later give us back some insights to help us do our business. Now, once we have our offers compared, we have several options. The first one here is to download it. So I'm going to click download. And what you'll see happens is it actually opened in a new tab. And it's just the same thing we're looking at here, but it's in a um, quick little doc form like an image. Now, you have several options. One, you can screenshot this, OK, if you want to just grab the image. You can download it by clicking the little arrow and downloading it to your computer. You can print it. And this, if you've got a print to PDF option, you can also print it to a PDF and save it as an actual uh, PDF file. Okay, so those are options if you're not emailing straight from there. You can text them. Now, I tested this link up here and it doesn't work the same way um, a, a regular URL would. So you're either going to download it and send it to them in a PDF form, like I said, or you're going to, like you could text them the PDF file link and say, hey, open this and let's talk about it, okay? Or here we can email the offer comparison, okay? So here we go, email offer to Tink. You have two offers. Here are your offers, okay? You can add an attachment. Now again, when I click send offer, I think it's going to give me that mail Chimp error, yeah, it's weird because I, I I'm sure I have Mailchimp connected, but anyway, let's look at other options while this is working itself out there. Okay, so we also, if we click email comparison, I can here's an image of what this looks like when it sends. This is the concept. So you have two offers. Here are your offers. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. So here's the pros. Here's the cons. Here's your um, your personal agent expertise analysis. Here's the pros, cons, expertise analysis, okay? So I've got to figure out what's happening with why that one's not emailing there um, directly through MailChimp, so we'll have to take a look. So then um, we also have let's see, let me go back There we go, back button. Okay, so right now it looks like the, the uh, even though emailing the offer compar comparison would be my first choice, if that's not doable yet, then we can click download and send it to them, just send them the image that way or send them the PDF file that way, okay? So that's the idea of comparing um, side by side offers. Now let's go back to the offers. There's one other thing I believe it is that I want to show you. So we're going to go back to offers. Okay. So in the listing offers, you also can add a negotiation, edit the offer, add your analysis, send the offer, or remove the offer. Those are all still possible. Now if you uh, if, if Tinkerbell re rejected Tina Masters 
offer, it would be better to go ahead and click that as reject again for the purpose of the insights and the AI, not really for anything else off the top of my head. It also keeps a cleaner uh, timeline here. If you completely delete it, you don't have a record of what was happening in that transaction necessarily in the same type of way other than going to your whatever transaction management um, rooms, DocuSign, whatever it is that you're using, okay? I know dot loop, everybody's doing, seems to be doing a little bit different things these days. Okay, now this generate offer URL, I've heard a lot of, um, seen a lot of questions about generate offer URL. Now, I don't have any current listings in my name to check this. My team takes listings in their names. So um, I haven't tested this yet, but from my understanding, generate offer URL is when your uh, client has a house for sale, so you have the listing. You're able to click generate offer URL and then it creates the little form. Let me see if I can um, show you the picture. Generate URL. Maybe not yet. I swear I looked at it, an, an image of it. Anyway, it, it there's a little form that um, your would allow your somebody to submit an offer on your property. So generate URL offer is a link that you would share then in your MLS listing uh, in the agent to agent remarks that allows them then to submit their offer. I'll, we'll look at that more and how that works later. But this is basically all there is to um, managing your offer. So you enter the offer in opportunity, it's a buyer or a seller, you record all of your offers here, you do quick comparisons, and you can download an email and work from here. So that's the concept of managing offers in KW Command.